Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back to another cliffhanger tech story. This one is called Angel of Death and as you can see it's six parts. I'm not going to give six videos though. They'll be way too short. Um, I'll probably just cut it into two videos. So one and three you'll get today and then four, five, and six you'll get tomorrow. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Molly says, Hawaii, here I come. Sandy says, so jealous. You on the plane yet? Yes, and I'm sitting next to the hottest guy I've ever seen. He's a killer. <laughs> Ugh, that should have been me, you stupid flu. Thanks again for giving me your ticket. I just didn't want it to go to waste. So tell me more about this hot guy. He's staring at me. Um, isn't that a good thing? I'm getting a really weird vibe from his stare. I told you. <laughs> I keep sneaking glances at him, too. I can't help it. What the F? My head is starting to feel fuzzy. I feel like I can't stop looking at him. I always knew you were boy crazy, but this is on a whole new level. <laughs> this boy feels different. I feel like I did something wrong and he's trying to warn me. He's starting to freak me out. I'm already sick and missing the trip of a lifetime. I don't want to have to worry about you, too. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't get what's going on, Sandy. I don't understand what he's trying to tell me. Why don't you just ask him? Okay, I will. Well, he didn't answer. God, my head feels really fuzzy. The plane should be taking off any minute. Put on some tunes and block him out. I shouldn't be on this plane. Molly, we talked about this. I know I'm the one who won the trip. And I can't even get out of bed, I'm so sick. Don't let that creep ruin it for you. Molly, are you there? I'm here. You're making me so nervous. I heard his voice in my head. The heck? Excuse me? Now you're hearing voices? Molly! <laughs> I'm really scared. Okay, just calm down. The plane should be taking off any minute. Are you guys on the runway yet? I don't know. I followed the guy off the plane. You followed him off the plane? Are you insane? Probably. I don't know why I did it. Please tell me you're kidding. Molly, what the heck are you doing? It was like he was speaking to me in my head. He wanted me to get off the plane. Molly, pick up the phone. No. He doesn't want me to. She's like just such a great hostage. You must have been drugged. I'm going to call the police. I wasn't drugged, Sandy. How the heck do you know that? Who knows what he's going to do to you? Molly, what about the trip? You just decided to get off the plane. Because the psycho spoke to you in your head? Do you know how crazy this is? Yes. I feel like I didn't really have a choice. I'm calling mom. Oh, they're sisters. I thought she was just her friend. No. She has nothing to do with this. Ugh. She's not picking up. Of course she's not. Why isn't anyone picking up? Because nobody actually answers when you need them. Since when don't the police pick up? What the heck? That's weird. Sandy, calm down. How the heck am I supposed to calm down? See, did you not just hear that the police did... The, if the police don't pick up, then there's a serious problem, but Molly's just all just calmed down. Yeah, she was drugged. My sister has lost her mind. Maybe I have, but I can't stop this. What is he doing now? He's leaving me out of the airport. Don't leave the airport. It's too late. We're in the parking garage. I think we're going to his car. Listen to me. You have to get away from him. I don't want to. This feels right. Okay. You know, okay, granted, he's probably extremely hot. We don't know. The guy in the, the beginning picture or whatever looked pretty attractive. But no guy is hot enough. No one is hot enough to be doing this, running away. Please don't be mad at me. I'm mad at Jamali. <laughs> I swear, guys, just because someone's attractive, don't just run off with them when you don't know them. He could be an organ harvester or something. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't get into his car. Please tell me you're smarter than that. Eh, she's not. We're in his car. 
<laughs> what is this mysterious man up to? Read on in the next chapter of Angel of Death. That is ridiculous. What is wrong with this girl? It's really dark in here. In his car. See if you can get his license plate. And tell me what type of car it is. He's a really good driver. It's like all the cars are getting out of the way for us. What type of car is it? I don't know, it's black. That's so helpful. Where is he taking you? Molly, my heart is pounding out of my chest. I don't think I should ask him where we're going. I think he just wants to show me. Where are you now? We're driving really fast. There doesn't seem to be any traffic. When he stops at a light, try and jump out. We're going through all the red lights. We're heading to the quarry. The quarry? I don't know. But I feel like he just spoke to me again. In my head. She dead or something? <laughs> and what, what did he say, may I ask? <laughs> We're going to make a stop. I'm going to meet you there. I'm getting my keys. No. Don't do that. You need help. Now where are you? We're pulling into that side street across from the quarry entrance. Okay, okay. There's houses on that street. Someone will, will be able to help you. There are people out here. But it doesn't seem like they really notice us. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe if you can fight him. Do you think you can take him? No. I wouldn't stand a chance. Ugh. Okay, once the car stops, jump out and run. I can't do that. We just parked in front of one of the houses. Call for help. Flag someone down. Molly, answer me. We're walking up to the house. Don't go in. Please just run. We just went inside. <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about this. Really? Wow, some weird, creepy guy who can talk to you in his head and, con and somehow convinces you to get off a plane and drive around with him and takes you to a house where you don't know where the heck you really are and you have a bad feeling. I don't know, guys. I think that is legit. I feel like something scary is going to happen here. Something scary is already happening. Listen to your gut. There's someone else here. Probably another one of his psycho friends. You have to get out of there. Wow. What? I didn't think he had pockets. <laughs> but he just reached into his cloak. He's wearing a cloak? Yeah, okay, wait a minute. I'm starting to think Molly's dead. He's wearing a cloak? <laughs> oh, I was like, FFS. <laughs> this is some cult crap. <laughs> He's probably taking you for some sort of sacrifice. Don't drink anything. <laughs> he just gave me some red Kool-Aid. <laughs> My head must be really off. Get out of there. By the way, could someone tell me what flavor red and Kool-Aid is? Because I know red is not a flavor, it's a color. <laughs> oh no, I see what he pulled out now. What is it? Molly, I'm so scared. You're scared? <laughs> a knife? He's telling me something. Molly, get out of there. He's telling me not to be scared. He's telling me death is nothing to fear. What lies in store for Molly? Check out the next chapter of Angel of Death. No, usually guys, if somebody tells you that death is nothing to fear and they're trying to kill you, agree with them and then try to turn the knife on them and stab them and tell them, yeah, death's nothing to fear, isn't it? A knife? Molly is going to kill you. Please try and run. He's not going to kill me. I know he's not. How do you know? He told me. <laughs> I heard it in my head. <laughs> yeah, so if Jason Voorhees comes up to you <laughs> trying to hack you to death with his machete, but he says, hold still, I'm not going to kill you. Are you really going to believe him? <laughs> Molly, do you hear yourself right now? I know it sounds crazy, but I know he's not going to hurt me. I think I'm going to throw up. We don't have mental problems in our family. <laughs> you know, you do now. I don't know how this is happening to you. Sandy, I feel lucid. I'm not going crazy. And I haven't been drugged. Then why aren't you listening to me? 
I have to listen to him. I think he's guiding me somehow. I think that's why my head feels fuzzy. This doesn't make any sense. What am I going to tell mom? Molly, please. Do something. He... He wants me to follow him to the... Scared me. He wants me to follow him to the back bedroom. He's trying to explain something to me. What does he want to explain? Don't trust the voices in your head. You're imagining them. I don't think I am. Molly, pick up the phone. Please. Let's stop t texting and talk. I can't talk, Sandy. We're headed to the back bedroom. No. There's a man sleeping there. I'm scared. He doesn't know we're here. Something bad is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. Wake him up! Maybe he can help you. Do you think the man can help you? Does he look dangerous? Is he wearing a cloak too? <laughs> no, I don't think he can help me. I think he's sick. There's tissues around the bed. And medicine. Something bad is going to happen. Quit saying that. <laughs> what? What is going to happen? How do you know? What is the boy doing now? He's walking over to the bed with the knife. He's just standing over him. The guy isn't waking up. He's... <laughs> no, I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> what? What happened? Molly! He slit the man's throat. Ooh. He killed him. He killed him, Sandy. <laughs> I told you. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. He just wanted to make you watch him kill someone else first. He's even more perverse than I thought. Get the heck out of that house. Yes. The boy wants to leave now. And he wants me to go with him. Of course he wants you to go with him. You just witnessed him commit murder. <laughs> it was horrible. There's blood everywhere. I don't understand why he killed him. But the boy is trying to make me understand. That's why he brought me here. The cops aren't picking up. It's like there's a block on my number. This isn't making any sense. Yeah, it's really not. Where are you? I can't find my keys. No. Don't come here, Sandy. I don't want you to come here. You shouldn't leave the house. I get the feeling that you shouldn't leave the house. What is Molly trying to prevent? Check out the next chapter of Angel of Death. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess he's the Angel of Death, but I don't know. It just seems weird. So you guys tune in tomorrow for the conclusion to Angel of Death.